from all around your lawn. I'm here to tell you how football is strong. And welcome back. To, um, at this present point in time, we're going to go through the games for today, starting from under-13s right through to A grade. Now, in today's grand final for under-13s girls, we have Inverley playing our very own, my very own Anarchy girls. <laughs> Look, Anarchy have come from fourth down and I would love these girls to win. They're a great team bunch. Yep. Last time they met it was 22-19. So good luck to the girls out there. So did they only play once during the year? Uh, yep, round nine. Yep, yep, yep. yep, yep. yep. So a nice close game. Um, in under 15s, Werribee plays Bannockburn. Last time they met 28-18. That might be a bit of a blowout today. Um, geez, I feel a ghost on my shoulder. Um, in under 17s, we have Inverley playing East Geelong. It was 28-24 the last time they matched. I think there's a dick in my, I mean, a bird in my face. Get the bird out of my face. I'll tell you what, these boys are unbelievable. Getting back to under 17. <laughs> <laughs> Getting back to under 17s, we have East Geelong. Oh, oh no, I said that. Inverley East, 28 21, the last time they met. D grade East Geelong. I've got a bear on my shoulder. Um, D grade East Geelong versus Werribee. Last time they met, it was 53 30. That might be another blowout, maybe. Let's yeah. see. I'm Bell Post to Werribee now, <laughs> in C grade. Last time they met was 45 to 23. Amanda, how do you think your girls are going to go in C grade? Uh, they're going to win. Okay, that was very frank. In B grade, we've got Werribee versus Winchelsea, 34-32 the last time they met. <coughs> and A grade, we all know it's going to be Winchelsea versus Werribee. Last time they met, it was 38-43, so it was a close game. Um, just got to mention though, like Winch and Werribee have got a fair number of teams in, in these <laughs> grand finals, yeah. so they're going to come away with something. And um, good yeah, luck okay. to all teams today. Uh, so. Girls. I guess having a look at the um, the teams today, great matchups throughout, yeah. and it's always a great game between uh, Werribee and Winchelsea. Um, no matter what grade they're sort of playing, um, going to be a really, really good one. It's um, late mail out of Winchelsea, uh, straight from the horse's mouth, literally. Is that Jacinta Todd will play today? Her Ooh. commitments um, with Shepparton coaching have finished. And they finish fourth and fifth on the ladder, and they are out of the finals. So just so when was the last game play? Jacinta Todd did play? A for long time, time ago. ago. Yeah. Okay, so in saying that, who's she knocking out? Uh, so she'll be taking out. It will be Kate Butler. Mm -hmm. Okay. Kate Butler played wing attack for th for two and a half quarters last time they met. <laughs> and Hayley McCallum. There's <laughs> lots of ghosts around here, Amanda. There's lots, right. lots, of, lots of voices in our ears at the mm. moment. Uh, so, the key matchups, you know, Julia Knott, Amanda Wilson. Oh, absolutely. Uh, they, had, they played on each other last year in the uh, grand final, and it became quite a heated battle. Yeah. It's right. going to be very physical today, isn't it? Like, you have to say that. They're, they're both yep. very. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry, I've lost it. I have lost it. And, oh, no, look, they're, they're, they're very hard teams and um, just to play against one another is just going to be un unbelievable. Yeah, Natalie Tomasini, will Maria Masai match up on her or yep. will Noni McClure start? Yeah. It's going to be an interesting one to see and we're not going to know until later in the day, really. Yep. Renee Pilkington, Danny Stewart in the centre. Yep. You know, um, I... You know, I'd like to see, you know, it's about who's going to be able to, to shut down Jacinta Todd. I think Maria Masai Into is more likely defense. to do that than Nicole Stewart. Um, yep. Then that then frees Nicole Stewart up to move into wing attack and um, push Emma Maycock back onto the bench. See, the other thing you've got to consider is because Jacinta Todd has not been playing, she's coming into this dynamic team, right? Are they going to get their plays right? Are they going to get their set plays right? Oh, they they is it going to be? Right. You know what I mean? She's played with them, and and know, they all know each other. No, she'll have no problem fitting in. You know, Amy Worth. She's got a big job on Michaela Ward, but Amy Worth, she's all quality, and she loves the big games. So, you know, Amy Worth beats Michaela Ward in the goal ring. I think um, Winchelsea are going to win very easily. Do you? Yep, I do. So, what are you what are you saying, Amanda? Like, how much by do you think? Given that, even though the last time they met, um, Werribee took away the points in round 18, I think it's going to be 15 goal win to Winchelsea. I do. I think Jacinta Todd back into that side. You think that's a difference? I do. Yep. A 15 goal. See, after difference. watching Werribee Centrals last week, I think that was superb. I think their defence held up really well. I, I, I think their attack was absolutely unbelievable. Their centre drive-through was um, fantastic too. Um, 
I, I think we're a bit central. Look, they've got nothing to lose. They no. really haven't. So I think they're just going to take it all out and do what they can mm. on the court um, to, to get ahead of um, Winter, maybe to sort of unsettle them. Mm. Yeah, you know, um, Jenny Garner, she played full game in goal attack last Saturday. I know Rebecca Lally, she polled really well in the Margaret she Webb did. medal. Yep. Um, she didn't take the court. You know, will she play play today? Mm. But I think a key for Werribee and maybe the motivation and direction they need, given that Nicole Stewart is a playing coach and that's a very difficult role to is, have, yeah. um, is Casey Price was actually on the bench this weekend and she's a um, she looks like she was assisting them off the bench and she's a very experienced championship player. She actually missed out on qualifying given that the rule was that she, that she needed to play 36 yeah, quarters. So she's at right. the same elite level as Kath Knott and Sunanu Robertson. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I think that that might be a key to have those experienced eyes as well, adding a little bit more to the Werribee team. But I still think Winchelsea are going to be too strong. Well, we know the depth that um, Winchelsea have got. We really do. I mean, we've discussed, we've discussed it all year with Jason on the show a couple of times too. <laughs> Um, I'll tell you what, <laughs> sorry people, just had to get the chook out of the way, um, so I had to get Dick's dick out of the way, sorry. Um, so in saying that there's a lot of depth in that, um, I mean the game, and um, I just think Winchelsea, same, I think Winchelsea got too much depth for Werribee, but in saying that, as I said, they're going to throw everything at them and um, I think it's like Fiona, I think it's going to be a close game fee. Yeah. I think there's going to be maybe a three, four goal difference. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, where we've got nothing to lose, they're going to throw everything at them today and um, it's going to be a very physical game. It's going to be a very physical oh, game. Very Absolutely. Physical game. Very yep. physical girls. Mm -hmm. And um, look, for all you people out there who really want to see a good game, they need to get down to that ground today, Let, get down to the courts and if you, you know, have a look at these teams, see the superb <laughs> Sweet, Dick, you're not getting one back. But anyway, um, and I just think, you know, you're going to see a game that is going to astound you. So get down there. It's, uh, to under 13, sorry, my anarchy team, I've just got to mention again, good luck, my darling daughter. Play well and stop your squealing on the court. Um, but good luck to anarchy and fight it, girls. Go out all out. You've got nothing to lose. Good luck to you today. Mm -hmm. Good luck to all the other teams, girls, yep. in the grand final. Yep. Um, and again, we've got the Melbourne umpires yep. umpiring A and yep. B grade again, which yep. happens every year. So. And look, these final series, I think they've, they've umpired really well. I think they've been really consistent mm -hmm. and really fair. Um, so good luck to the umpires today who take the courts. Um, and I'd, I'd just like to say, like, thank you, everyone, all 12 yeah. teams in the competition for what a fantastic season we've had in 2012. Absolutely. Absolutely. And look, rear up, get, let's get back here next year and um, improve 100% on everything else. Um, sorry, my baby's calling me. Um, so in saying that, good luck, girls, today. Have a great gay, um, game, have a great day, and good luck to everyone. Sorry. See ya. Bye. Yeah.